This video aims to showcase the scrollable image widget example. In this example, there are two types of modes to change the FM frequency, touch mode and scroll mode. In touch mode, as indicated in the top right toggle widget, the frequency can be changed by dragging the ESD scroll image widget scale to the left or right. To switch to scroll mode, press the toggle at the top right to toggle to scroll mode. In scroll mode, the frequency can be adjusted by dragging the ESD slider to the left or right. As previously mentioned, you can toggle between scroll mode and touch mode by toggling the ESD toggle switch at the top right. To create a scrollable image widget, first, create and rename two pages to menu and second page. After that is done, go to Menu Page and drag and drop ESD Toggle Widget into the page. Adjust the size of the toggle widget accordingly and change the text to Scroll Mode Touch Mode, leaving some blank spaces in between. Test if the toggle widget is working correctly. After checking, click on App Screen Page. Drag and drop Menu Page under user pages into the screen editor. After that, click on the menu page and change its depth sort to zero and its allocation to static. Next, go to second page in the screen editor and drag and drop ESD label into second page. Change the text to ESD and increase the font size. After that, drag and drop another ESD label into second page. Rename the text as follows. Increase the font size to make it easier to see. Now we will add the required images. First, right-click on the project file in the Project Explorer and click on Add. Select the two images needed for the project and click on Open. Wait for the resources to load into the project. Once the resources have loaded into the project, drag and drop ESD image widget into second page. Change the bitmap cell to Music Equalizer Wallpaper. Change the depth sort to minus one and the scaling to fill so that you can enlarge the image. Adjust the size of the image so that the image fits the size of the screen. Once that is done, drag and drop ESD label into second page. Change the text to FM and increase its font size. Next, drag and drop ESD fixed point label beside the FM text. Increase its font size, change the float value to 105, set enable padding to be true, number of digits to 5, number of digits after the dot to 1 and align X to align center. Adjust the text on the screen and add megahertz to the FM text with spaces between them to give the result shown on the screen. Next, drag and drop ESD scroll image into second page and change the bitmap to FM scale. Adjust the size of the FM scale where appropriate. Click on fmscale.png under the Resources folder in the Project Explorer and change its bitmap format to ARGB4. Click on the ESD scroll image widget and change the H offset to 553, set X touch scroll from true to false and H scale to 1.60.
Once that is done, proceed to drag and drop ESD line widget under Basics into second page. Change its line width to 6, width to 0, as well as color to as follows. After that, adjust its size and position it to the number 88 on the scale. Now, you will need to shift everything on the page up to allow space for the ESD slider, other values, and text to be displayed. After arranging the necessary, drag and drop ESD slider into second page and adjust its size as follows. Drag and drop ESD label into second page and change its text to H scroll. Next, drag and drop ESD numeric label into second page. Afterwards, Drag and drop another ESD label into second page and change its text to percent. Adjust the font size of all of the added widgets appropriately. Change the ESD sliders max to 175. Next, rearrange the nodes in the Logic Node Editor to make it easier to form connections later on. Drag and drop binary operator under the Logic Flow list into the Logic Node Editor. Change its type to double, operator to divide and write value to 1.75. After that, connect the nodes as follows. Next, add two more binary operators into the logic node editor. Rename one of them to add base 880 and change its write value to 880 while ensuring that the operator is plus. Rename the other binary operator to to megahertz. Change its operator to divide and its write value to 10. After that, connect the nodes as follows. Save the project and start simulation. The scroll mode for the scrollable image widget is now working correctly. Finally, click on default theme in the Project Explorer and change the back color as follows so that the background of the page is uniform and matching. Now, we will proceed to create the touch mode on first page. Firstly, copy everything in second page and paste them into first page. Next, change the text to touch mode. Click on the scroll image widget and change its set X touch scroll to true. Next, delete the unnecessary slider and labels at the bottom of the page. Copy the line widget from second page and paste it into first page. Rearrange the nodes as follows and drag and drop variable into the logic node editor. Change the variables type to double and rename the variable to h scroll value. Connect the nodes as follows. Next, drag and drop binary operator into the logic node editor. Change its type to double, operator to multiply, and its write value to 1.75. Drag and drop another binary operator and also change its type to double before changing its write value to 880. After that, drag and drop one last binary operator. Change its type to double also and its operator to divide and its write value to 10. Once you are done, connect the nodes like so.
Drag and drop ESD timer under the ESD utilities menu into the logic node editor. Change its timeout MS to 100. Next, drag and drop variable into the logic node editor and change its type to Boolean. Rename it to changing. Afterwards, drag and drop two set variables and change both of their types to Boolean. Next, drag and drop ternary operator into the logic node editor and change its type to argv32. After that is done, connect the nodes as follows. Copy the original orange color of the line widget like so and change the ternary operator's value if true to the, the orange color you have copied and the value if false to the default dark green. Change the value of set variable 2 to true like so. After that is done, Click on Menu Page and drag and drop signal and output to the Logic Node Editor. Change Output's type to Boolean and rename it to State. Next, rename Signal to Changed and connect the nodes like so. Once that is done, click on App Screen Page and drag and drop Second Page into the Logic Node Editor. Ensure that all the three pages, First Page, Second Page, and Menu Page are in the Logic Node Editor. Next, drag and drop Condition into the Logic Node Editor and connect the nodes like so. Change the allocation for both main page and second page to lazy persistent and change the depth sort for menu page to 2. Open the app screen page drop down menu under the project explorer followed by widgets and drag and drop menu page out of switch page and both first and second pages into switch page like so. Once that is done, click on menu page and ensure that the state of ESD toggle is set to false so that its text will be matched to the corresponding page. Click on App Main and start the simulation. As you can see, the scrollable image widget is now complete and working. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.